Welcome to Cedarcroft. Let's make cranberry chicken. Cranberry chicken is super easy, quick meal that you can have any day of the week. It's a meal that your family is sure to enjoy and it's something that you can make in a slow cooker. So let's see. The first thing that you're going to need for this cranberry chicken, three pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast or you can use any kind of um, boneless chicken you like. Um, you can use chicken thighs if that is your um, choice and it would also be very delicious. So I'm going to put three pounds of, and I just cut them in short little strips as you can see here. I did not chop them but the chicken breasts are very large and so these are just nice bite-sized pieces or two bite pieces. <laughs> so we're just going to put that in our crock pot. This is a super easy dump and go recipe. So we've got that. After we put the chicken in, we have some more ingredients to add. Two medium onions cut into large dices. I had one large onion and a half, so that's what I used. We're going to dump that in. And then we're going to put four stalks of celery cut into large dices. And so that's what I've got here. I'm going to put that in. Two cans of whole berry cranberry sauce. Well, guess what? I only have one can of jellied cranberry sauce, but you know what I'm going to do? This calls for two cans of whole berry, but I do have some cranberries. So I've got one can of jellied, and then I have some cranberries, and so I'm going to count this good. So I'm going to put the cranberry sauce in there. I'm gonna kind of break it up just a little bit so that I can give it a little bit of a head start. And next, I'm going to put my cranberries in. And these I had in the freezer and I let them thaw. And those are going to pop and just be so delicious in this dish. And the last thing is two and a half cups of barbecue sauce. Any kind of barbecue sauce will do. It's your choice. The last thing we're going to do is give this a stir. And we are going to mix this up and stir up everything together as best we can and try to get everything incorporated. Remember that chicken is going to give off its own broth so you don't have to worry about that. And with the chicken pieces being uh, cut up. It's not going to take very long at all. Here we go. Now if you did this on high, depending on how big your chicken pieces are, it may take four to six hours. If you do this on low, maybe three to four. All you're going to do is just check the chicken to make sure that it is done. But look how pretty this looks even before it's cooked. It is so good. So I'm going to put this on low and I'm going to let this cook all day while I do other things and then I'll bring you back when it's time to taste it. Can you see this beautiful cranberry chicken. There are large pieces of onion and large pieces of celery and it is so tender. 
It's been cooking all day. I'm just gonna get a little piece along with some of the onion and the celery and of course the cranberry. And I have a bowl of rice right here. And here we go. So beautiful, so beautiful. Let me tell you, this is such a decadent meal for me. I mean, it is just, it's sweet, it's sour, it just has everything. It reminds me, um, well, I don't even know what it reminds me of. It is a meal all unto itself, and I love putting the, the juice on there from the chicken, and this is just delicious. Serve it over rice. Let's do a taste test. Look at this deliciousness. The chicken, the cranberries, the onion, the celery, and the rice. It is so good, let me tell you. Oh, so good. I'm gonna try this first. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this has sweet, it has tang, it has savory. Wow. The only thing I would do a little bit different is maybe put a little more, maybe make sure I got that extra can of cranberry sauce in there. Like I said, I didn't have it this time, but this is still delicious. But I would definitely use the two cans of cranberry next time. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, it's almost like a sweet and sour. Mmm. 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 The chicken is tender and so tasty. Look at that. I'm being stalked by a dog. <laughs> Rosie, do you want a bite? She wants a bite. <laughs> oh my gosh, this bowl is so hot. This is absolutely delicious. So as always, thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this adventure as I go back to Cedarcroft. And until next time, take care. Rosie, do you want a bite? Is it good? Do you like it? Yes, I think you like it. Are you looking for more? I don't have any more. That's all. Good night.